What's up? Welcome to our video about deploying a website with Netlify. My name is Craig Holiday. I'm Keith Holiday. And this is Quality. We make videos about code. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing uh, we're going to want to do is have some sort of website. So we uh, built a website in a previous um, in a previous video. You can go check that out if you want. It's a very basic website. Um, that just tells what time it is. So it's actually just a HTML file, CSS, JS, and our JS file uses um, DayJS, which is a, an alternative to MomentJS if you've used Moment before. And it just gets uh, the current time at any point in time, and then every 100 milliseconds updates that time in the format that we've decided. So let's take a look at what that looks like. And we built this website because we want people to stop using watches. That's exactly what we want to do. Exactly. <laughs> Just use a um, website, no watches. Exactly. So uh, we actually, I just try to run Parcel, but we have build scripts that I forgot about. Um, and so we're actually using Parcel in here. Um, and this we is a Parcel builder. We have another video about that as well. Um, so we're going to use dev to see what it is, and then we're just pointing it at an entry file, and then we're going to use build when we actually build for Netlify. So let's do nev, uh, dev real quick. And if you want, you can do it in your terminal, or you can just come down here and uh, go to npm scripts in VS Code. And so this is the entire website. Just every 100 milliseconds says exactly what time it is. And uh, there's a little format change if you want to uh, change it to a 24-hour format. And again, I don't even have milliseconds on my watch, so. That was, that was the big thing. So there's uh, time, it's, it's based on time.is, um, but it didn't do milliseconds with what I saw and I wanted to see, I wanted to use DayJS, so put that together. And now we're gonna deploy it to um, Netlify so anybody can access it. So we're dev locally, we can access it, um, but we want it to be hosted have its own domain so people can access it on the internet. And this is a common question, right? When, when people are getting into web development, they're like, how do I put it on the web? Like, how, how does it get on? How does it go somewhere? Why how is people it so access it? How can I show people? Exactly. And so this is what you want to do. Uh, first, just have the website, build it, build it locally. And then you're going to want to put it on your um, host of choice yep. uh, and create a Git repository and then host it somewhere like GitHub. Plenty of others, which we're just gonna do GitHub. So I just uploaded it up to GitHub. You can check out this code. There's links in the uh, description. And so now when we want to deploy this, we can just go over to Netlify and I just logged in and you can see some other sites that I have deployed here. All you gotta do is do new site from Git. Go ahead and log into GitHub. And I already, I've already authorized um, my GitHub with Netlify, it'll take you through an auth process there, but uh, you should be good to go after that. And then we're just gonna search for the repository. We've got plenty here um, and it's just called, what time is it? I'm gonna click that. It's going to ask you the owner. So there's teams in Netlify, the branch to deploy. So you can have deployment branches or you can just do it on master. And then the build, uh, build command, so we know uh, by going back to our VS code that we set this up to um, have a build script with NPM to do parcel build index.html and we can just do NPM run build. Netlify is going to handle everything else for you. Okay. It's going to handle installing NPM. It's going to handle hosting it after the fact, everything like that. Um, so we're just going to do NPM run build and then a published directory. I know from building the website that it's going to create a dist folder. Um, so we'll just do dist. And in the disk um, folder, it's just the static code that Parcel generates for us. So it's just uh, the HTML, CSS, JavaScript that Netlify will host and serve to the, to the world. Exactly. And you can see it all. Uh, these are all the files in the disk folder right here. This right. is what it's going to be built. And then we don't commit this to the Git repository because we want it to be built every single time. Exactly. Um, so yeah, that's the publish directory build command. There's an advanced. If you want to add environment variables, you can do that here. So now we're going to, we just hit deploy. It's going to give us a funny name to identify the site for us. And uh, then deployment is in process. So 
if you want to jump in here, you can actually get the log for it. And we just had a build command fail. So let's debug that real quick. All right, so we just found what the issue was. Um, and this is the good thing about having logs when we were deploying with Netlify is Netlify tried to build and it tried to run our build command and it said parcel wasn't found. And we wanna go ahead and look at our dependencies in the project. And you can see that parcel builder is, is not in dependencies here. So let's go ahead and add it um, as a dependency. Okay, so we're just going to paste in the npm install command for parcel, parcel bundler. Okay, now we've uh, installed parcel bundler. You can see it right here in our dependencies. Let's go ahead and clear this. We'll do um, git add git commit in parcel bundler. Um, so now we've committed this. We're going to go ahead and push it. Um, and we'll just go ahead and use this because it's given it to us. There we go. We just pushed our commit to the master branch. Um, and since we just set up Netlify to look at our master branch, it's going to hook into that. And every single time we push a commit to master, it's going to redeploy. So let's go back into here and we can see that it is already creating or it's already deploying uh, the change we just made to master. There we go. We just uh, built with Netlify and our site is live. We can see it down here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and go to a preview. And now you can see here that it is hosted on uh, the Netlify app domain. And so, uh, and, and our app is just running just like it would. Uh, Keith, I'm gonna send you this. Also note that the reason it has all those numbers is because that's for the build ID. So your actual app will be deployed without the numbers as well. Right. So um, that's a very good point. So it's going to, every single commit, it's going to have a deploy as well as without all the uh, identifiers for the commit. So if you just wanted to go to Vigilant Murdoch, um, the, all the numbers you can see when we go to a preview for the build, um, that's how you get that other URL. And it's working for me here. Awesome. And that's it. We deployed a website with Netlify. It is hosted. Um, you can also go in here and set up your own domains for this. And um, that'll be something we cover in another video because uh, that's going to be a whole thing. Great. Thank you guys for watching the video about deploying an app to Netlify. Check out the links below um, for any of the resources we use today and uh, the repository uh, to look at this on GitHub. Uh, ask us any questions in the comments. We'll be sure to get back to you. And that's the end of the video. Thanks. Thanks, y'all.